Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Sunday, March 19th, 2023. Another drunk poker. Tis beer time. Another stop in Hamilton. Another day, another stop in Hamilton. From our pals at Grain and Grid. It's been a while. Comes apparently one of the most popular IPAs from last year. They rebrewed it, so it comes with Galaxy and Ruwaka hops. Ruwaka hops. Uh, New Zealand and Australia, I believe. Uh, IPA, good as gold. We are looking at 6%. Seems to be the magic number today. 6%. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while we got, so we got the Grain and Grip. And uh, they had pizza going. They had someone making pizza. And a full tap room. Doggies, kiddos, everything. Oh, this is a good family vibe there. I think that's one of the things that uh, they're known for there is to have like that kind of family buzz. Um... And I grabbed two new IPAs, which is good for me, because that's what I was looking for. I have a lot of things in the fridge from the trip from the last week, right? 23 breweries with a lot of different styles of beer. I wanted some IPAs yesterday, and that's what I picked up, because, you know, i got to have what I like in my fridge, too. Not just what, you know, different styles, but I want to have beers that just have beer. So let's get into this. Uh, cheers, my friends. Find your grain where your grit is. Oh, I say that wrong, don't I? I know. But that's fine. I'll figure it out one day. Cheers. See, I always find, like, hops from, like, New Zealand, Australia really have this cool kind of earthy flavor that I, I can't pronounce it any other better. This is, they have this quality. I'm definitely getting, like, papaya, mango, um, grapefruit, and pineapple. Like, the pithiness is grapefruit pithy. You know when you bite it in the rind of a grapefruit? I don't know why you would do that. But apparently that's what we like in our beer. I, I do. But I, 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 I'm tempted. I just buy a grapefruit, just bite the rind to remind me of why do I like this again? But I do. I do, but I find they have some kind of, there's this ethereal quality to hops from that region of the world, and they just, they, they sing to me. It is a fruity, it's a fruit forward, um, tropical fruit IPA, but it does have a nice bite of grapefruit on the back, which when I'm having an IPA, I would like that nice bite of citrus pith or pine, whatever you're looking for, you know, I mean, yes, it's great, the soft one, but this is not a soft IPA, this is a an IPA for people who like IPAs, you know what I mean? Like, that's, it's a silly thing to say, because what's wrong with the hazy IPA? Nothing. But, right, you want to have the options of the different styles, even inside sub-styles inside the styles, and then there's sub-styles of the sub-styles inside the styles. This is a good IPA. And when you say IPA, people know, when you say hoppy, they know what you mean, right? As much as it's not the best word to use, this is a hoppy IPA. That is very, very good. Nice beer, well done, great and great, good to see. Cheers, my friends. Get out there, go visit. You know, it's fun. Spring's coming. You'll be able to sit in the patio if you want. Sit in the patio now if you want. I don't care. You can do whatever you want to do. Right? But get out there. Cheers. It's going down real smooth. I like them when they go down real smooth. 